So in this short video, let us see the vascular basis of the anterior lateral thigh flap, the proximal as well as the reverse. Let us see the important anatomical structures. This is the sartorius which is marked. These are the important muscles in just in relation to the vascular basis. We won't be discussing other muscles. Then after the sartorius, what is being marked is the rectus femoris. It is a bipinnate muscle. Then we have the vastus lateralis. So the blood supply essentially will start with the femoral that is the source vessel. The femoral vessel we will roughly assume that this is the course of the femoral artery. Femoral artery gives branch the major branch to the profunda femoris and from the profunda arises the lateral circumflex femoral artery. Now after arising from the profunda the lateral circumflex femoral goes below the sartorius and below the rectus femoris and then between the rectus and the vastus it gives a ascending branch and it gives a transverse branch. Ascending branch supplies the gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, skin over the superior aspect of the thigh. Transverse branch supplies the TFL muscle. Then the lateral circumflex femoral gives the descending branch which goes between the vastus lateralis and between the rectus femoris towards the knee joint. Over here, it anastomoses with the lateral superior geniculate artery which comes from the plexuses near the knee joint. So there is the anastomosis. Here also at this level, cutaneous perforators are given. This forms the basis of the reverse ALT. The descending branch of the lateral circumflex femoral forms the basis of the conventional ALT flap. Now the markings of the axis, we mark the ASIS, the superolateral border of the patella and we draw a line joining these two points and as you can see this line is overlying the septum between the vastus and the rectus. Midpoint is marked and the perforator is in the 3 cm quadrant. Now based on this perforator which is commonly a musculocutinous perforator but can be a septocutinous perforator, this flap is marked. Based on the reverse flow between the descending branch and the lateral superior geniculate artery, there are perforators in the 3 to 10 cm uh, length wherein the reverse ALT flap is harvested. Thank you.